Good morning, beautiful people. My name is Tara and I'm with Crooked Row. Today is all about asparagus. Let's get going. Today we're gonna plant asparagus and we already have an asparagus bed, but the, we're planting more asparagus. You can't be too careful. We've seen what the supply chains are doing in, in our country. And although it's gonna take about three years for us to heavily harvest what we're gonna do today, um, you can't get too fast of a start. So, uh, so we are planting one year old uh, crowns today that I ordered from Berlin Seeds. Um, they're a company out of Ohio and we'll have the number below. Um, and um, we're gonna dig trenches and you plant the asparagus. It, it almost looks like an octopus and you spread the tentacles out, tentacles out, and uh, you put it on like a little hill within it. And I'll show you as we get started. Um, but we have 200 to get started. Asparagus is a great thing to get started for anyone because they last like 20 to 30 years. Um, you really can't boast that with any other vegetable, um, except maybe some fruit trees, which is not a vegetable. Um, and so we'll, we'll get into, after we dig our trenches, we'll get into actually how you plant the asparagus crown. But asparagus is like, it's definitely the vegetable that's worth it. Um, it's loaded with copper and iron and manganese and um, it's a prebiotic. If anyone of you knows about probiotics, you wanna have a good prebiotic, a prebiotic in your gut first before you do your probiotics. It actually helps your probiotics seed your gut better. Um, it has lots of fiber and folic acid. Uh, what else, guys? It has riboflavin, niacin, and photothenic acid, as well as other B vitamins. Panathenic acid, that's right. And A vitamins, C vitamins, and E vitamins. <laughs> we know our stuff on asparagus. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna get started doing our trenches, and once we get down to where you actually plant the crown, then we'll zoom in and let you see on how you actually plant your crowns. If you're doing it by seed, that will be a completely other video. By seed is a little bit different because you start it in a seed bed first. Um, but that's not what we're doing today, so let's get started on our beds. Here we go. a 12 inch ditch that we have. We've got almost 10. Um, the boys are starting on the other side. And while they start on the other side, I'm going to start in here and show you how to plant. I'm gonna show you how to plant within this uh, hole. So you're gonna wanna create a mound of dirt. Um, so I actually need both of my hands. I'm going to create a small mound and I'll show you why we're going to create that mound. Okay, here is the, the mound. There is the mound that you build within your ditch. And then, sorry, then you take your asparagus and you fan out all these roots. Here's the crown and then you fan out the roots over this mound and um, in, within this mound, you want to put your fertilizer. I'm using Biotone Starter uh, Fertilizer from Espoma. And again, I say this in almost every video, I especially use Biotone Starter um, in perennials because it just helps with a really good root development. Um, 
but so you spread this out and then you fill in the dirt and it, I mean at some point we're gonna end up mulching this and so I'm going to actually finish the rest of my row and then I'll come back and let you see it Hey guys, so we're back out here by the asparagus beds and it took us a couple days to plan all this, but now that we're done, I just wanted to show you what the asparagus beds looked like. Here, as you can see, the dirt is nice and loose. It goes all the way down. You can see the little tip of the asparagus sticking out of the ground right there. It's already starting to sprout. Uh, what you'll want to make sure is this little tip has to be sticking that much out of the ground. Uh, because if you leave it in the ground, it will not sprout. And it can't be too high above the ground where it's like up off of it because then your roots could end up rotting out from underneath the asparagus. So we certainly don't want that. Um, and you gotta make sure the ground is level or else water could flood and that could also rot out the roots. So anyway, we're all done out here, and I just want to thank you guys for watching. And always remember, if we can garden, anybody can. Bye.